How's it going everybody? Back in 2018, I made a video about the origin of a popular type of chicken noodle soup here in the Philippines. This particular noodle soup is called Mami. The term was coined by a Cantonese immigrant called Mamon Luk who came to the Philippines and started selling his style of fast food noodle soups. His last name is Ma, hence the Ma and Mami, and the Hokkien word for noodle is Mi, which is where the Mi and Mami came from. Just like Kodak or Xerox or Kleenex have come to represent film or photocopiers or tissues in general, even for brands other than theirs, through the years, Mami has come to refer to this style of chicken asado noodle soup to Filipinos, not just the ones sold by Mamon Luk's noodle houses. You can check the description below for the link to my 2018 video. I shot it in the Quezon Avenue branch of Mamon Luk, and it's still alive and kicking in 2021, despite COVID. It's been there for decades, since the 1950s. I'm now here in Benavida Street in downtown Manila, Philippines to shoot another decades old noodle house called Masuki. I remember when I was a kid growing up in the 80s and 90s, Masuki was also called Mamunluk or Makong back then. It was one of the earlier branches of this Mamunluk brand, but I'm not sure what business disputes arose and the Benavida Street branch changed their store name to Masuki. In any case, it's the same style of Chinese origin noodle soup that's become distinctly Filipino and known as Mami. The noodles are cut with scissors, they're made in-house, and like I said, they've become a distinctly Filipino dish, Mami, and thus I don't believe should be judged with Chinese food authenticity standards. To start with, this is a super cheap dish, only 140 pesos for the special, which combines asado and chicken. It's meant to be a cheap, quick, and filling hot meal. The noodles can look a bit limp, even if newly made in-house daily, but I don't find it detracts from the experience. It still tastes good and chewy. The focus is not on the aesthetic presentation. The mami is its own kind of noodle style. It's not really meant to be compared with so-called authentic Chinese noodle dishes. It's traditionally paired with this mystery sauce that's on the sweet side. That's what you find in this big pump bottle the guy is putting into little single-serve plastic bags for takeout. If you dine in, they'll put it in a dish. And you can spoon some sauce into your broth or dip your shawmai into it. Now, onto the shawmai. Masuki's shawmai is different from the typical Cantonese dim sum that's familiar to Filipinos. This one is thick, with three C's. As mentioned, this place is known for cheap and filling meals, and nothing says value for money more than a humongous chunk of dim sum. Its emphasis is on value for money, not really subtle, juicy flavors, so don't judge it on that. It's quite filling and pretty good paired with the mystery sauce. Thank you.